Hi, I'm Holly McDonald with the Costa Mesa Pod, where we discuss all things concerning the lifestyle, businesses, and activities that make Costa Mesa such a great place to live. Today, it's Ashley with a joyful rose topography. Ashley, hi. Ashley's a long friend, friend too, and I'm so excited to have her on to discuss her photography business. She's very talented, so why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and just Give a little background on yourself. Thanks for having me. I'm Ashley Cater with the Joyful Rose Photography. I am a Huntington Beach local, born and raised in Los Angeles. I have two kids, four and a half and two and a half, and a husband. And we, it'll be 20 years that we've been married in May. And I have, years. Oh. I have two cats and a dog at home too, so it's a full house. Um, and I just have really found my passion with photography. So do you want to share a little bit about your specialties as a business? Sure. Um, being that my background is in teaching, I feel like I really have a niche with families and children. Uh, I love doing family photography, get paternity, bar, be a little risque. Um, I also love lifestyle, so headshot, all things intimate and kind of one-on-one or kind of close-knit I really enjoy that connection I know I love well we post a lot on Instagram of course and I see it all and I love the ones that are just like really precious moments of the children because I think memories that will last a lifetime 100 percent. I think it's really important to capture the everyday moments and the everyday joyfulness of especially being a child just the playfulness and uh, I recently did a shoot on the beach with actually one of your really good friends um her and her husband and their little son, and they were just literally holding hands and dancing in a circle. And just, you know, you take 20 million pictures to get that one really good one. Um, but just to capture that joyful moment and his face and his expression, I, I love being able to do that. Yeah. No, that's really nice because it's kind of like a time capsule in a way, yes. like putting that moment in a bottle. Yes. I love that. Is that how you came up with the name for your company? So a joyful rose is kind of actually twofold. My daughter's name is Ryan Joy. Uh, so I wanted to incorporate with Joy because I feel like after having her, our family was complete and I was kind of looking for something that would really fulfill me, uh, but that I could still kind of be with my children. And Rose was my grandma, my great grandma's um, maiden name. Oh, okay. Um, and my daughter's... Um, so her name, coincidentally, I didn't even put the two, the two together until after I came up with the name, is a joyful, is joyful rose. It's oh, okay. name. Yeah. So it just kind of seems fitting, uh, being that I'm more of a family photographer and really want to capture those moments and especially with children, uh, it just kind of fit. I think for a lot of people that are entrepreneurs who are really passionate about things, it makes sense to make your business about the things you're passionate about. So photography, family. Um, and also to have a photographer that really um, works well with children because of your background. What are some of like your little tricks, I guess? Or what can you tell parents to expect when they're coming to a photo shoot? Like how, sure. how can they help make the process easier? I think the first thing is to kind of just all expectations kind of out the door. You're there to just have fun and enjoy the moments. Your hair isn't perfect. It's okay. You know, the dress isn't sitting just right. The child refused to wear what you wanted them to wear. It's okay. It's more about just capturing that moment. Yeah. Um, bubbles are always great. A ton, a ton of snacks. Uh, make sure you don't have a hangry kid. Uh, but, you know, even bringing some things that they love. If there's a certain book that they like to read, capturing those moments of you all sitting together reading that book. Um, if there's a specific toy or lovey or, you know, sex animal that they really love, that's okay to bring and incorporate. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll, if there's something specific, I'll hold up. I, I actually have a little Elmo that I bring with me. Oh, I, and I do the, you know, the whole thing. smile for Elmo. He's going to come to you. Just kind of creating that space where the kid can kind of be themselves and enjoy the experience. Uh, I also, you know, while I do 15, 30, 45, 60 minute shoots, I also don't back to back myself. So if the child or the family needs, 10 minutes, five minutes, just kind of like, all right, just do your thing. Don't worry about me. Let them get comfortable first. I think that it's really important for the child to think different thing before, right? And now here I am with this camera taking pictures and asking you to do things. So I want there to be that connection. And so I say, don't worry, just relax and let him play in the sand for a minute or let him go and ex let them go explore, you know, the 
to park for a little bit. Let me just capture those moments until they get a little more comfortable. And sometimes those are actually the best images. You know, and I was going to say too, just like in having me on you and seeing you around a ton of kids, not just my own and not just yours, but just every random kid from whatever. Um, you have a very good way of making them feel comfortable. So I think that that has to be helpful, like what you do. Because, you know, we all know, like a kid that wakes up from a nap and it's cranky and their parents are shoving them out to do yes. something. But you do have a way of like a calming presence. And, you know, and also you're just very friendly with them, you know, complimentary and, you know, peekaboo and all of those things really get to them. So that's what you have to Um, So in terms of Costa Mesa and Coastal Orange County where we live, what are some of the, like, what photo shoot spots that you would recommend and like things that people should think about? Sure. My personal favorite is Fairview Park. Uh, it's beautiful in the springtime. Uh, the flowers last year with the rains were just gorgeous and amazing. Um, I also love Tee Winkle Park. I feel like there's a lot of different areas that you can use for different kinds of looks. Um, of course, Huntington Beach Central Park is great. The Secret Garden is beautiful. Uh, personal favorite of mine in Huntington is um, the urban forest. Again, there's a lot of, you could do a more urban kind of look, you could do a more park, you know, greenery look. And it's the Beach. Um, it's right off of Ellis and um, right past Golden West. And there's actually um, the Free Rain Foundation. The horse is, is there, so sometimes you're lucky enough to see the horse the most. Oh, well, I mean, fun job again, yeah. if you're getting all excited yeah. about right. horse. Yeah, exactly. And I'm sorry, I cut you off, but the pier. Of course, the pier, you know, any kind of beach area. I personally love Huntington Beach um, just under the pier. It's very easy to park and then walk across. Um, Newport, kind of, you know, all of those little port street areas where the beach is like right there are super fun. Yeah. Um, and of course, it also depends on the time, right? Uh, I typically like to shoot either early in the morning due to the sun or kind of, you know, right before sunset. Uh, but of course, if we're working with now schedule or people that are coming in town and, you know, we can't really accommodate the timing. Yeah. I just say, keep in mind, we can do a 12 o'clock or, you know, a three o'clock shoot in mind where the sun will be. We might want to find somewhere that's more shaded. Yeah. So maybe a park versus the beach would be a better option. Yeah. Uh, I'm always open to coming to them too. Yeah. And doing more of a lifestyle, you know, especially with the newborns. If you want to do more of a newborn lifestyle shoot, get that out. Yeah, it's easy, yeah. right? Let me come to you, sit on the couch, be chill, be relaxed. Let's take some family photos. Something more stressful about when you have a newborn and you're trying to like get your hair done, yes. and the kid grass and like rush to the photos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's incredible. And I've been there, right? Like as a parent of two. Yeah, I've done the maternity. I've done the family photo shoots. It's definitely easier in home or when there's kind of that communication of like, hey, so and so we're done for now. Can we push it, you know, for yeah. 30 minutes? I'm all about that. Yeah. If I understand yeah. the lifestyle of having children. So yeah. here's a cool story. Um, my One of my nurses, when I was giving birth to my daughter, yeah. um, her son just turned one. Aww. And she was on Facebook. We were part of the same group. And she was asking about smash cake sessions. And I reached out to her and it just was kind of, you know, aligned that here she was when I gave birth to my daughter and here I am being a photographer now. Um, and so I did her first birthday smash Aww. photos for her son. Um, and we actually did it in my backyard. Full circle. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. And, you know, we set up with the props. Um, she wanted a kind of like a Noah's Ark jungle theme and we were able to do that. So I really like that aspect of it too, where I could kind of be artistic in that way, kind of. Um, how fun was a theme? Everyone loves a good theme. Um, yeah, but it was kind of full circle. So that was a really cool moment. But yeah, I would also love to to capture. Um, recently, I've been doing kind of more sports photography. It's my son's in football. Yeah. Um, you know, little five year olds in flag football. It's so cute. cute. <laughs> um, and I love it. So it's, I kind of feel like everything I, I, I try, I love it also. Yeah. Um, so it kind of builds my portfolio yeah. and kind of getting out there and kind of just exploring different things. So what are some of the things that you offer that set you apart? I think mainly um, if you're looking for a family photographer or kind of more intimate moments, yeah. um, I capture the head on, you know, you smiling and looking at me, but I also capture those more intimate moments of you walking with your child or, you know, playing your guitar, if that's, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and just being more candid as well. Uh, I think I also 
because I have that teaching background, yeah. um, I'll just kind of have a way with children. Yeah. Um, I've, heard, I've heard people say, I can't believe you get them to smile. Or, oh my gosh, that shot is amazing. They won't do that for me. So I think that's definitely a, a key component yeah. when, you're, when you're doing family photography. Absolutely. Um, and I think just feeling that connection with the photographer, you know, you know what someone who's going to be really stiff and like tell you pose like this, do this, do this. It's more go with the flow um, and who you can kind of relate to. Yeah. And I think just kind of tying back to um, like the Orange County lifestyle and Costa Mesa specifically, or just even coastal cities. Um, we are so lucky that there are so many opportunities to do lifestyle footage. I mean, all year round um, where it's, more comfortable. And then also just to have the locations that are stunning. Which are there any other things that you would tell people to expect when they're coming to a photo shoot? First, you'd say, do you want outdoor or do you want studio? Because I do work with Spark Studio, which is amazing. They're local uh, to Huntington Beach. Um, so it depends on kind of the style of the look that you want to okay. start with. So is that more just like a photography studio? Where... It's a studio, but they have uh, four different rooms. Oh, okay. and, okay. life. and so they have different styles within yeah. those. Oh, cool. Um, so first I would ask, you know, kind of what, what kind of style are you looking for? Uh, I'm also not, I only do light and airy or I only do dark and moody. I like to also send the pictures I'll do a few snapshots that say, are you are you liking this editing style? Okay. Um, because I have my own editing style, but I, I feel like I'm also fluid in being able to kind of play around. So, like, you can give people a little bit more choice about the aesthetic they're going to get, which yes. I think people yes. really appreciate. And I'd like to be um, kind of playful with it, too. So if I have five of the same picture, I don't necessarily just give you the one. I might give you one that's black and white, one that's color, one that's, like, a funky color. Luckily, I actually did a maternity shoot yesterday. We did it at the beach, and the sun was just setting perfectly. And I was like, you know, I've never done this before, but can you just stand there? Mm -hmm. I want to see if I can get your silhouette. Oh, and nice. you know, not all of them turned out. Not all of them will, will I edit. They aren't all great. But the way that the light was coming, there was just something so like precious and kind of magical about the sun kind of shining on her. And you can't necessarily see her face fully, but you can see her belly. And it's just, I like taking those chances. And that's why I take a good zillion photo. I'm an overshooter mm -hmm. uh, because you just, you know, you want to get that one perfect one. Yeah. Whether you're looking at the camera or you're looking in a certain direction, you want to make sure your eyes are open, your smile is perfect, uh, the hair is, you know, flowing just right. And I mean, it was beautiful because I have one with the sun kind of like beaming on her and her hair is flowing. There's a it, nice breeze last night, yeah. too. Yes. Oh, my So they came out great. Um, but yeah, so I'm not afraid to take chances, too. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, I recently did an engagement shoot. And I felt like as I was editing and calling through these photos, I could like feel the energy and the excitement. And I like kept beaming and I texted them. I was like, I'm looking through these photos and I just can't stop smiling. You know, so it's kind of like I get to relive that, whether it's the, the, the love and the passion or the funness or whatever it might be. Uh, so I really love that about photography and going back to a joyful rose in itself. It's, it's I want to be able to incorporate that joy and have you look at the photo and really feel it. That's amazing. So turning away from photography, just a tad, um, wanted to ask you, so you mentioned you're from Los Angeles. How long have you been in Huntington? So I would say probably like 18-ish years I've been here. What brought you here? My husband. Okay. <laughs> my then my boyfriend. Okay. Um, and just... Uh, Was there a culture shock at all coming from... Uh, you were in the Valley? I was in the Valley. I'm born and raised in Encino. Um, I would say not so much a culture shock, but more of like a, oh, this is a cool place to be. Uh, I love the vibe of Costa Mesa, Huntington Beach area. It's very uh, just more relaxed, more family oriented. Um, there's definitely a more, a better sense of community. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, I would not move anywhere else, but um Scotland. I would definitely, <laughs> I would definitely move to Scotland in retirement. Uh, Polar yeah. opposite. <laughs> you know, on the farm, you know, have a little Airbnb. Yeah. Uh, the people there are amazing, so friendly. I remember when we visited the day, we walked into the bar and there's like dogs everywhere. Oh, and it's like saying hi to you and, you know, welcome you. Yeah. Um, so I just feel like, like being in Orange County, it will get that more of that vibe. Okay. It's not as, as, congested, you know, as far as the traffic goes and just kind of the community's there. 
Dear Lou, if people mind you, if you have any specials or anything coming up that you want to share? I'm actually celebrating my first year anniversary in November. So definitely kind of concocting some some fun little specials to go with that. Um, you can find me on Instagram, a joyful rose AC. Uh, on Instagram, I'll make sure to yeah. link that. Yeah. You're welcome to email me at joyfulroseac at gmail.com as well. And this is coming out um, closer to Halloween, but the holidays are right around the corner. Is there still time for people to get photos? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, it's holiday photos. Yes, yes. yes. Whether it's a 15 minute quick session mm-hmm. uh, or you want a 30 or 45 minute mm-hmm. or an hour session, yeah. uh, it's okay. never too late to you know just get those in. Um, me personally, before I became a photographer and I was always running behind, yeah. um, I'm a big person for New Year's photos. You, a New oh, Year's, yeah. You will feel like that. Yeah. So instead of ho- a holiday card, you do a Happy New Year card. Because um, you're never late for it. Perfect. Well, that's a good tip, too. Yes. So both your yeah. holiday or New Year's yeah. photos. Yeah. Well, Ashley, thank you so much Thanks for giving your photography you. skills and tips and everything. And everybody go book a session with Ashley. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.